hell y'all still looking at me for? Click the links in my description in the top pinned comment to get early access to the commentaries by joining the Patreon and make sure you follow me on the Hot Mic app absolutely free so you can possibly win a PS5 or an Xbox X. Roll the damn footage. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for your 2020 NFL season week 8 primetime game highlight commentary. We start out in Meth Life Stadium where Tom Brady faces his kryptonite with no Eli Manning. Looking towards his left, he's got his man and they're already in Giants territory. Meanwhile, in the battle of the NFC least... Get over the Philadelphia Eagles take on the Dallas Cowboys. I'd love to know whose bright idea it was to have three members of the NFC least on primetime television. Pornhub viewership must have increased during both these games because people would rather masturbate than watch these teams play. Unless you're a Bucks fan, of course. At least they're winning. Following a Cowboys field goal, they take a 3-0 lead in Boston Tea Party. Michael Scott carries it across the 45. Hey, Ryan, what do you call fellatio on an elevator? Suck up. As Ryan suck up would kick it through the uprights and it's good, the Bucks take a 3-0 lead let's check on that eagles offensive line bitch ass white boy just as i thought trash what's the purpose of god making prince harry's doppelganger if he's not even going to give him any protection the queen clearly hates her son carson wentz running towards did he just take the football away from Carson Wentz? I'm really having trouble understanding why Carson Wentz keeps holding on to the football this damn long. At this point, you're just hurting your own team. If you're going to play football like that, you got to make sure you say, Wiper nose wiping. You're too late. You'll never find it now. I dropped it. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsey. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go and it's time for a little bit of trickery. Cause Golden Shower Tate looking towards the left of the field. He flings it over to John Wayne Goldman who carries it for a first down into Bucks territory. Following the fumble, second and goal for who the hell is Ben DiNucci? Come here. Ah! Come here. Not only did he take a sack, he fumbled on the play and it's recovered by Philly. They're getting the football right back. Whoever gave Daniel Jones the name Danny Dimes must have been caught in an elite genjutsu because this man's throwing back shoulder when you got a touchdown pass on the vert. Just look at this. You couldn't ask for a better route, and this man throws it outside. This man's accuracy is like Stevie Wonder throwing the opening pitch at the World Series. This doesn't make sense. What the hell wrong with you? Ensuing drive in Meth Life Stadium, but I think they may have COVID because they're uh, 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 coughing up the ball. Fumble on the play, recovered by New York. How fortuitous they were able to get the football back in that fashion. And this time now in the period colored zone, Danny would stop playing like a penny and he'd turn into a dime as he'd find his man in the end zone. Touchdown, New York. They take the lead. Did the Giants just take the lead against Tom Brady? You know Eli Manning's in the house like... Second and four in Lincoln Financial Field, Boston Tea Party, Michael Scott gets the handoff, carries it into Cowboys territory. With all these superstars on Tampa Bay, I'm surprised they don't got Kawhi Leonard Fournette who carries it across midfield. Three plays later, third and nine for Tom Brady. Eh, looking towards his left. Legend has it Nicole Brown Simpson would have still been alive if she didn't have half a cup of OJ, but Travis would make sure it's Fulgham as he'd carry it inside the five-yard line. The Eagles in the love colored zone. Rosetta Stone Hindi, motherfucker. As Carson Wentz looking towards his right, he's got his man, goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Philly. They regain the lead. Well, they never had it. God damn it! Fuck! Ensuing drive, third and 13. You're going to see laundry fly on the field because of a hole on Dallas, but doesn't even matter because Ben DiNucci out here throwing deflated footballs. What is that? The G man on the move once again. Daniel Jones finds his man, and they're suddenly at the 50. And the Philadelphia Eagles would somehow take Carson Wentz to the Temple of Time as he finally wouldn't be under duress and finds his man, and now they're at midfield. But four plays later, they turn off the console. Don't do this. <laughs> Holy shit! Carson Wentz gets tattooed, fumbles on the play, recovered by Dallas. Help me. Help me. Help me. But the Giants' lack of protection would try to top that. Now get your bitch ass on the floor. Offensive lines don't exist in the NFC East. Ben DiNucci threw a screen and still somehow took a shot, but luckily they were able to move the chains. But three plays later, it was all for naught because he threw the damn ball to... So they'd settle for a 49-yard field goal. It's kicked through the uprights. It's good. They cut their deficit down to one. Ensuing drive. Time for a little bit of trickery. Activate the Philly special. But there's no Nick Foles around. Watch out for that banana. Wow. 
Let's see what's going on in Meth Life Stadium for Tom Brady. I've got you in my sight. Back the other way come the G-Man handoff to John Wayne Goldman. He's in the open field. He makes a move and carries it into Tampa territory. Here comes the Cowboys, baby. Danucci finds Wilson on a flare route, and he's going absolutely nowhere. I could have seen better offenses by watching highlights of prosecutors in both these teams. First and 10 for Danny Dimes looking towards his left. This time his accuracy works for Darius Slayton and they carry it inside the 35. And two plays later, Sterling, the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want, would bring them inside the 25. 2.22 remaining in the second quarter. Carson Wentz got all kinds of time rolling towards his right, thinking the end zone, and he's got a man. Wahoo! But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted in the end zone. Why submit 10 toes to the 10 toes down challenge when you could submit a knee? The Cowboys take over on downs. Inside the two-minute warning, the G-Men looking to make this a two-possession game. Dive. Cut that bitch off. He's going to be marked out of bounds at the two-yard line. Take it. I dropped it. What happened to his head? The New York Crips in the swoop zone handoff to Wayne Gallman goes into the end zone and the Giants take a 14-3 lead over the Tampa Bay Golden State Buccaneers. I'm gonna come. Ensuing drive, here comes the Buccaneers. Eh? Brady looking over the middle, he's got his man there in Giants territory. First and 10, Brady looking down the field. Eh? He's got a man again at the 30. Fourth and one, 32 seconds remain in the half. Carson Wentz throws it to the damn sideline. And now the Cowboys have an opportunity to respond. First and 10, Ben DiNucci rolling towards his right. He's got his man in Eagles territory. Meanwhile, there's a 40-yard field goal for the human vacuum as Ryan Suckup kicks it through the uprights and good, cuts their deficit to eight. And Legatron, Greg Zerline would boot it from 59 yards out and the wind would help him out as Dallas would take the lead. Looks like the Pidgeotos and Pidgeots were on his side. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You thought I was finished? It don't matter. NFC East football. We gonna win this game and take first place in the division. We the boys! Second and eight into the second half we go. Here come the G-Man, baby. Danny Dimes looking like his mentor cooking up apple. Turnovers! Pass intercepted by Tampa Bay. He may be playing against Tom Brady, but he's throwing like vintage Eli Manning. Second and 13 for Carson Wentz, and he's looking like an angry Negro at Afro Fest in the 1970s because he's throwing a pick, and the pass is intercepted by the Dallas Cowboys. And that's Trevon Diglett. Use TM28 digs again. If he gets one more, he'll become a Doug Trio. Let's go, let's go. We got an elite defense, baby. We got Dick Van Der Ed, Thorn Lee, Tank Lawrence. We the boys! I get my confidence back. We go win this game, the NFC East, and then we go into the Super Bowl. <laughs> Fourth and two for Tampa Bay. Tom Brady all kind of time. Giants pass us as existence as a Robert E. Lee statue in 2020. He finds his man to move the chains. And that lead to a Ryan suck up 43-yard field goal to cut the deficit to five. Following the interception, the Cowboys on the move. Hand off to Anthony Pollard. He carries it inside the 30. Third and three. Here comes Danny Dimes, baby. Looking to go deep. He's got the Lord as my shepherd. I, sh I guess not. Surprisingly enough, this is not even Danny Dimes' fault. Sterling Shepard turned around way too early on the damn route and just missed out on a possible touchdown. Here comes Dallas. Time for a little bit of trickery. And a round reverse. Ensuing drive for Tampa Bay. Eh? Tom Brady finds Gronkowski. I take it into giant territory. Me make Tom Brady happy. First and ten. Eh? Looking over the middle. He's got Evans inside the 20. Looks like the Pokemon are no longer on the side of Legatron as his 52-yard field goal sailing wide to the right. The Tampa Bay bloods in the Sioux Whoop zone. Brady. Eh? He finds Gronkowski in end zone. Touchdown, Tampa. We take lead. Me make Brady and everybody in Tampa Bay happy. With this touchdown, Tom Brady tied Drew breeze for most all time and we just passed steve young and jerry rice for most combined for a duo me do good grunk do good damn it ah! but on the two-point conversion would they give them two for their mistakes eh? Wait, I, got it. I guess not access denied Failure. 
insert Jalen Hurts. Why is Carson Wentz at receiver? But let me tell you something. Get your bitch ass off of me. I baptize you in the name of the Father. I baptize you in the name of the Son. I baptize you in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's what you get for intercepting Carson Wentz twice, pussy. Then a few plays later, Carson Wentz would find anti-Cowboys, but pro-Texan Dallas Goddard inside the 20. Trailing for the first time today, Daniel Jones puts the Giants in Bucks territory again. And he'd put down those nickels and pick up a dime as he'd find Evan Ingram inside the 20. The Eagles in the Piros colored zone. Rosetta Stone Hungarian, motherfucker. As Travis Fulgham in the back of the end zone gives Philly the lead once again. And then they take out their Runo cards and tell the Cowboys, two for your mistakes and take a 15 to 9 lead. No, 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 no. We can't give up the lead. We go come back. We got Ben. We got Dick. Amari Cooper. D.D. Lamb. We them boy. God. Damn it! Fuck! Ensuing drive, Dallas looking to respond. <laughs> the Gallup and Michael would move the chains. New York would settle for a 33-yard field goal and regain the lead as they'd go up by two. Into the fourth quarter we go. Brady takes the snap. <laughs> <laughs> On fourth and inches, the only way to have a successful QB sneak is to run it up the buttocks as Ben DiNucci would move the chains for the Cowboys. As for the center, the bottle can't shake, that's abuse. The Giants looking to extend their lead in the fourth quarter. Danny Dimes finds his man to move the chain. Fourth and two for Dallas, but Ben DiNucci out here looking like a Pop Warner six-year-old who just came in for his first play. What the hell kind of pass was that? From now on, I'm calling him Ben Vacucci. Turnover on downs. Second and five for Danny Dimes. Looks like you went trick or treating at Eli Manning's house. They didn't give out chocolate. They gave out apple turnovers. Pass intercepted by the Bucks. That's what happens when you get taught by vintage Eli Manning. Third and six for Philly. Carson Wentz. I dropped it. What happened to his hands? First and 20 for Brady. And he's got his man over the... Damn, he ate that shit. Very next play. Play action fake. Brady looking deep. Eh, he's got his man inside the 25. Next Dallas drive. Hand off to Anthony Pollard. Once again, he's going to pick up a first down to midfield. And the Tampa Bay Bloods in the swoop zone. Eh, Tom Brady looking towards the end zone. He's got Mike Evans in the back. Touchdown. Buccaneers regain the lead. And now Tom Brady once again has sole possession of first place on the all-time pass touchdown list. New York trailing once again. Second and six for Danny Dimes. Where do you think you're going? Ugh. Second and two. Take the ball, black man. Gotcha, bitch. Alarm! What the hell kind of slide was that? It looks like he fell down while trying to slide. Meanwhile, in Meth Life Stadium, Danny Dimes would dump it off to Sterling. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But evidently, God wants you to participate in the Frank Costanza challenge, cuz... I stopped short. Second and eight for Brady. All kinds of time. He's going to have to step up in the pocket. Find a 24-7 champion. Uh, he finds Gronkowski in Giants territory. Third and six for Ben the Coochie. Ah! But our fingers. Coke and kick. Hey, it's our ball. The fumble is scooped up by Ronnie McLeod, and he's headed towards the end zone for a Philadelphia Eagles fumble recovery touchdown. I'm sorry. I fudged up, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. We were supposed to beat them boys. What are we doing? We need Dick. We need Dick. Insert Jalen Hurts as they take out their Runo cards and give Dallas two for them. Not today. Not today. Access denied. Somebody get the Vagisil because Ben DiCucci is still getting pounded. Kill me. Oh, my God. Son of the bitch. Third down for Tom Brady looking towards his right. Eh? Looking for his man, Mike Evans, but his sales incomplete. But there's laundry on the field. Pass interference on the defense. A motherfucker was stopping another motherfucker from getting to the motherfucking ball. Automatic motherfucking first down. A little over four minutes left to play. Down by 12 for Ben DiCucci. Rolling towards his right. Looking to go down the field. has got a man. I dropped it. What happened to his hands? Fourth and 22, and it looks like Dallas decided to shoot bullets with their own gun on safety as they'd voluntarily give the Eagles two points in an effort to recover an onside kick on the ensuing safety punt. Oh, I missed. 
but Philly came away with the ball. The Bucks would extend their lead up to eight from a 38-yard field goal off the foot of Ryan Suckup. And the game is on the line for New York. Fourth and five. No timeouts remaining with 2.45 left to play. Danny Dimes finds his man, and they're going to keep their drive alive and cross the chains to the 47. Second and 15. Danny Dimes trying to live in Eli Manning's image. Fine. I'll do it myself. Picks up a few yards with his legs, carries it across midfield to Tampa territory. Two minutes left to play. Carson Wentz trying to give something to his fantasy owners. I don't give a fuck. But Dallas wants to be a Debbie Downer and prevent Carson from adding additional points. Ben DeCucci looking over the middle. I dropped it. Yet another fourth down in Meth Life Stadium. Danny Dimes with the game on the line finds Sterling Shepard. They're keeping their drive alive at the 30. And by some miracle, Ben DiCucci is as well, as they're now inside Eagles territory. A little over 30 seconds left to play. Time to pay tribute to R. Kelly, because you've got a golden shower Tate in the back of the end zone, participating in the 10 toes down challenge. Touchdown, Giants! And he says, fuck Jalen Ramsey. Nani? I cannot believe it. But they've got to take their Runo codes out and force two for their mistakes to force overtime. The pass is... But wait a minute, there's laundry on the field. Jones had his man wide open for about a year, but decided to throw the ball extra late. Winfield got in betwixt the ball and the receiver, and they're going to be called for pass interference. <clears throat> there is no foul for pass interference. In real time, it was too much of a bang-bang play, so the Giants would be denied an opportunity to tie. And this would have been an easy two points, but Daniel Jones over here hesitating to pull the trigger and shit. Why didn't you throw it, Daniel? That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much, you could do anything. Fucking dummy, stupid ass niggas. Your motherfucking head back down. You lose. Wait a minute. Dallas's game is still going on. They have an opportunity to score a 25-point touchdown. But wait a minute. That doesn't exist. And if it did, they didn't even make it anyway. I stopped short. No, 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 no. How do we drop the third place into the fifth? That's ridiculous. We better than the football team. We better than the Eagles, too. It was just a bad break. The no, next time we play against you, we go get you back. Why? Because we got Ben Denuzzi. We got Andy Dalton coming back. We got Zeke, Amari uh, Cooper, D.D. Lamb, Fender Edge, Tank Lawrence, Skip Bayless, Michael Irvin, Skip Bayless on commentary, Troy Aikman on commentary. We gonna come back? I hope so. We have to. We supposed to be that boy. As the Dallas Cowboys would join the New York Giants in taking out their Metro cars. And getting aboard the L train. One quick look at those Falcons fans. Shout out to Mr. GH2 on my Patreon. Gave me a pretty good idea. For those of you who happen to be on my Patreon, send me clips of yourself screaming fuck and you'll be included every time your team fucks up. Any level gets you an opportunity to be featured. Click the link in my bio. Become a member. Come true!